Hello and welcome to Right Now for Thursday the 2nd of November 2017. I'm Tim Wilms. Islamic terror has once again hit the United States in Lower Manhattan in New York City. The perpetrator, 32-year-old Saifullo Sapov, a Muslim from Uzbekistan who had migrated to the United States on a diversity immigrant visa, drove a pickup truck along a bike path killing eight people and injuring 11. A Sapov was shot dead by police before being arrested and an ISIS flag was found in his truck along with a note that stated he committed the attack in the name of Islam. The attack once again proves the link between Islamic immigration and terrorism and vindicates President Donald Trump's efforts to introduce extreme vetting of immigrants, uh, including blocking travel to the United States from nations with a history of Islamic terror. This attack also demonstrates just how vulnerable all Western major cities are to such attacks using trucks or other heavy vehicles. President of the Senate Stephen Parry has now resigned after confirming he does hold British citizenship. Many are asking why he waited until after the High Court ruling before confirming this, given that all it has done is provide further embarrassment for the Turnbull government and made their denials that there are no more dual citizens in Parliament more dubious. Confidence in our politicians will not be restored unless there's a full audit of the eligibility of all MPs, but the major parties clearly do not want this as they know that more of them will be knocked out. It is certainly not a good look for our politicians who tell the rest of us to obey the law that they are refusing to check whether they are complying with our most basic law, which is the Constitution. The men who are being held at the former Manus Island Detention Centre are still refusing to leave after the Australian government had closed the facility with its personnel leaving. It is quite ironic that these men and their advocates decried the fact they were being detained there, but when the government closes it, they now want to stay. The Australian government has arranged alternative accommodation on the island and has declared the men are now the responsibility of Papua New Guinea. Although this standoff is rallying the usual refugee advocates, it is certainly not weakening the views in the community that strong border protection needs to be maintained. The Hollywood sex scandals have just gotten deeper, with veteran actor Dustin Hoffman now accused of harassing a teenage intern three decades ago. Director Brett Ratner has also been accused by six women of sexual misconduct, and police in Beverly Hills have launched investigations into the allegations against Harvey Weinstein and director James Toback. This is only days after the allegations against Kevin Spacey emerged. Nobody can now deny that Hollywood has been aiding and abetting systematic sexual abuse and misconduct by its biggest stars for decades. One wonders if this type of culture is present in many other of our most prominent institutions, and it's certainly a standard in our society that there are so many people who are uh, appear only too eager to uh, cover this type of activity up. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and check back here tomorrow to see what is happening right now then. Bye.